Oh man, hello, howdy doody, how are you folks? Sorry about the little little hiss there. I hope everybody still got their eardrums. Ah, welcome to another edition of the Progressive Microscope with DJ Tony. Hey, that's me. That's right. The one and only. That's right. I'm still alive, folks. Hey, that's good news, right? <laughs> good news is I'm still alive. I just smell funny. <laughs> Oh, man. Great show, Steve. Oh, another great show by our wonderful Steve Bonino and uh, another edition of American Progressive. That's right. Great show, Steve. Uh, today's One Here Wonder comes with a little controversy. That's right. Some people say it's the rascals doing the song Groovin'. But One Hit Wonder on Wiki says it's the Young Rascals. In fact, my MP3 says the Young Rascals. And I know Billy is feverishly holding up his vinyl copy of the Rascals' greatest hits. <laughs> my question is, did they change their name at some point? And now it's on the Rascals' greatest hits. If you look on the internet, it does say the Young Rascals. So I don't know. Either way, uh, great song, though. I love that song. A wonderful, wonderful piece of music, piece of history, really. Grooving on a Sunday afternoon. That's right. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Oh, my God, I can't believe we're here. This is it. This is the CD release show for Red 32. After all the years and all the hype we've been creating, <laughs> it's finally time to do the CD release party, and I could not be happier. Uh, Jennifer uh, Wheeler uh, says that uh, she's trying to get in the chat room, Rick, and it, it won't let her change her password, so please help. Hello to everybody in the chat room. We're filling up nicely. Colleen, Vince, EC, Chris, Rich, Richard, nice to see you, brother. Uh, the wonderful, the fabulous Mama Shar, always fabulous every day. Uh, the wonderful Nikki Hart Kelly, Roby One, Sue, Rockin' Mama Sue, Rick Henry, and of course the trippy one himself, Steve Bo Nino. That's right. You guys, we're going to play the whole album today. You guys are going to hear it complete. It is going to be for sale here. Uh, in fact, uh, as soon as this show's over, it should be up for sale. Uh, as you guys know, we're going to have Robert and Steve on the show with us in just a few minutes, but first our host today for this, because I can't interview myself. What am I going to do? So, DJ Tony, what were you thinking when you were playing that crappy chord? <laughs> so, I can't do that myself. So, it's going to be my good friend, our comrade here, our uh, brother at House of Prague, Billy Allen. Billy, how are you, brother? Excited, nervous, all in one. This is a, a, a <laughs> I'm, I've been anticipating this moment for, God, Let's see, six months. <laughs> we haven't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've been because you've been making the album. <laughs> you know, it's uh, man. I tell you what, man. I'm nervous too. Everybody to hear these songs. I really believe in this album, man. I really do. I think it's really good. Now, you had a chance to listen to it first without giving away any details. What were your initial thoughts on the album? um blown away I mean, who's interviewing who here who's in it well well you're interviewing me now i'm interviewing you here in a few minutes okay. right. <laughs> but um, um yeah uh, on first listen when uh burn into the sun was released three weeks ago um that song really blew me away um from the fact that how it features ev all four of you in, in one point or another on the on the album or on these in the song and it, it seemed like you guys had been playing together forever, like you'd been an established band. This wasn't your first album. This is something that sounds very polished and um, just absolutely incredible. And lyric, lyrically, too. It's um, wonderful lyrically. It's oh, my God. Beautiful. It, it, uh, I, very I can't say enough songs. about Steve and his lyric. I still firmly believe Steve is the best lyricist in the world. I don't think there is a better lyricist. I, I agree. Uh, it's a wonder how he isn't more famous. 
Dude, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I don't know. His production, everything, man. This guy is such a genius. And mm -hmm. we'll we'll get more into that, I'm sure, as as we get yeah. Steve and Rob on the on the line here, which I'm gonna go ahead and send on the link now. You guys go ahead and turn your come radios in. down and come on in and join us. Um and then, but yeah, I mean, the way if wait till we start telling you about how some of these songs were put together mm -hmm. because they were put together backwards. I mean, the way we write is backwards. That's why, like on TRV, we called it New Vibe. And mm -hmm. I still kind of think this is New Vibe because we're still recording a completely different process. We're not like taking a, a set of lyrics and then trying to make a melody to them. Like I said, we'll talk more about that when, when the guys come on. But everything is made so much differently than other people make music. I don't think anybody makes music the way we do as far as the process goes. So, And it works. So, I mean, and it worked in this in on this album, too. And I'm really excited that we're uh, about to present it to you all. I can't wait for everybody to hear it. There's some songs on here that I've just, I've, I've listened to them so many times. Oh, but here's somebody on an iPhone. I wonder who that is. That's Rob. Look at that Rob. guy. Hello. Hi, Rob. Hi. Rob. Looking wow. good, buddy. And Rob is handsome. He's a sexy devil. <laughs> you know it, baby. Did you, guys, did you see the promo pic I posted this morning? Did you see yeah, the picture did. of Rob? Man, I saw <laughs> that on the internet, and I was like, Oh, that's that one, man. I got to put that one in there. Look at the look on his face, man. He's just like, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how long ago? I mean, what band was that, Rob? Uh, that, that was, was States. Uh, that, was that was States. Yeah. That was States. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd, yeah. Love to hear, I'd love to hear some of that stuff. Oh, you can find oh. it on YouTube. You can see it them live on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will look there. <laughs> it's really cool. They don't show Robin uh, for my liking, though. But uh, you know, it's okay. No, but I, I was kind of laughing this morning because Rick, because Rick had posted a video of Steve's uh, uh, "God Sex Money" video that's got this really crazy Monty Python vibe to it. I I absolutely I absolutely effing loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Steve forgot he's supposed to be here today because he's chatting in the chat room. Yeah, or he's getting coffee. Which no, he should already oh. that the coffee should be flowing. Uh, I've already finished. I've already finished mine. I've had look at that jar, man. That's a jar of coffee. That yes. is not a coffee. It's a jar. Yes, I drink my <laughs> coffee in a mason jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I had way too much this morning, so I'm a little nervous, a little, a little I, shaky, maybe. I I'm right know. there with you. I, I really am. I'm right there with you. Oh, how's everybody oh. doing in the chat room? Thanks for being here, yeah. you guys. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. This is the biggest Thank chat room I've ever seen in, in quite some time. Oh, so welcome, you everybody. You weren't there for the Colin Tench Memorial. Oh, no, I, I no, I wasn't. We broke the chat room, just straight up broke it. Oh, dear Ooh. Lord. Oh, dude, that was rough, man. But I tell you what, man, there was a lot of, I think I counted 60 at one point. Mm-hmm. 60 people at one point well, was, we're well on our way absolutely nuts i'd like to see 60 people in here i know people are trying to get in but they can't rick hint hint, hint. aging rick henry <laughs> white having trouble power. getting on the call steve says oh no uh -oh. Uh -oh. that's got to be on his end because you guys aren't having any problems for once it might not be my fault for once <laughs> <laughs> it probably is anyway, but it's okay. Every time it ends up being something stupid that I did every single time. What the kind of joys of live you radio. Know? Your shirt is awesome. Who me? Bob's? Oh yeah. Hey, you. Oh yeah. Ah, it looks good, man. Alex, my my shirt addresses my, my my shirt addresses my vinyl addiction. Because you're always <laughs> you're always saying just one more, just one more, and it ah, never ends. That's right. <laughs> I wore my uh, muscle shirt, man. Ah, I, yeah. I I see everything is healing nicely. <laughs> Fucking cannons, man! After that damn mm -hmm. shed. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, and then check this out while we're waiting for Steve. Okay, can you guys see my finger here? Yes. So is yeah, it? Wednesday, I was at work and I grabbed a pallet off the back of a truck. Oh, and I got a shard of 
I'm not kidding. And I'll post a picture of it if everybody wants to see it. It was almost a half an inch long in my finger and it was buried. Oh, ow. I can. And I, I couldn't can, get I it out. Mm. And oh, I was going to go. Can... It was so deep. My boss was saying, go to the emergency room. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I finally got it out when I got home and I couldn't believe how big it was. I took a picture of it and you should have seen the look on Shelly's face. Both of us just, our eyes got like this big. We're like, <gasps> and it was going straight in my finger and it was in there for like five hours. <laughs> oh my God. I was in so You're... much pain. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> and, and Tony being the, his best black knight from Monty Python. No, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> right. Well, now I'm like, I'm not going to the ER and saying, oh, I get a splinter. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then I saw how big it was. I was like, that wasn't, a, that wasn't a splinter. Wow. That was impaled. That was, I got impaled. <laughs> Steve, I just got a message trying to get on you guys. I just got uh, a message from, at, I just got a message from Adam Sears. He, he can't get in either. Ah, uh, oh, Sorry, Adam. Uh, let wow. me send me a re meeting ID. Uh, Steve says he needs the ID. I'm not sure what that means. The ID. What What uh, you sent me, the same thing you sent me. The link, right? Yeah, the link. Yeah. We're trying, guys. We're trying to get Steve before we get started, and we cannot play anything until we get Steve on here. Oh. Steve is a huge part of this. This is, it. I mean, come on. We got to have Steve. And I'm sorry, you guys, Eric Comfort couldn't make it today. I do apologize. Um, I know he'd be here if he could. Uh, I know he's in the chat room, but yeah. you know, with bandwidth issues and whatnot from his internet, he he can't make it. So I do apologize about that. We'd love to have Eric on here with us today. Um, and, and eventually, Billy's going to take the show over. Eventually. Yeah, uh, I will eventually. I mean, that at some point. I mean, I mean, I don't really want to get started without Steve, but. <laughs> We can't. <laughs> we can't. So it's kind of, I mean, we could just sit here and, you know, shoot the S for a little bit. <laughs> um, or we oh, could there he comes. Play. There oh, we go. Here, wait, we're getting wait. them. We're getting them. They're, keep your fingers crossed. Drum roll. The, the trippy one. Oh, iPhone Steve. Hello? There he is. There's that handsome. Hey. There, he is. there he is. Hey, Steve? sorry it took me so long, guys. I just. I was okay. just banging on every link I could find, and they weren't opening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You guys, we're ready to start. Steve, I'm going to let uh, you guys. Steve is here. Rob's here. Myself. I'm going to let Billy take over. Let's get this started because no. you guys are ready to hear some music. Yes. So, Billy, get this thing started for us, brother. Well, welcome to the official Red 32 CD party. Yay! <laughs> welcome to everybody in the chat room. Absolutely. We've got... Three members of Red 32 here, and Eric J. Confer is with us in the chat room. 75 Sorry you can't be here, my brother, uh, but we love you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, guys, congratulations on the new album. Thank you. It's been uh, a long time in the making, and I, I was seeing this was supposed to be a TRV album, but um, it quickly changed. Um so what brought that about? Well, you know, we've been working on it and we've been, you know, doing what we normally do, which is, you know, I kind of make up some groove and then we, I throw it out there and say, what do you guys think? And usually somebody will say, oh, hey, I could work with that. And then we start adding and, you know, Steve does his thing, Rob does his, EC might do his. But at one point, Steve had the idea. He said, you know, why don't we... This doesn't feel like TRV. It feels more like a band. So he had the idea to actually, it was his idea to name the band Red 32. Steve, are mm -hmm. you still there? He can't see you. I am here. I am invisible. <laughs> he is very much invisible. <laughs> well, tell us your thoughts going into making yeah. that suggestion, Steve. It just, it just felt, you know, TRV, while it had a few songs, was kind of half instrumental half uh, you know audio based as opposed to song based but this particular batch of tunes felt, felt all song based which felt different to me interesting yeah um and the first song burn into the sun 
is uh, a beautiful, beautiful opening. And the ly lyrically is just very, um, especially toward the end, is very heavy and, and deep, um, you know, philosophically, really. So let, let's talk about Burn Into the Sun. Uh, how did that song get started? Well, um, Nick sent me a track. And at the very end of the track, his melody changed into something that I, I just grabbed and use that as the basis for the groove of burn into the sun. And then it developed from there. Nice. Um, you said Nick sent that to you. Like I said, Tony sent that to me. Nick was at home watching TV at the time. I was like, probably man, drinking a brandy with his wife. This Nick and Tony thing, man. No. <laughs> well, you know, Nick, Nick is Tony, the one releasing. You guys are the all album. the same to me now. You're all just a bunch of guys that I like. So any name, <laughs> any name. <laughs> Yeah. That was one, if you remember steve that was one i started way back that was one of the first like probably five songs that i ever wrote um and that we didn't do anything with it on trv but then we brought it back and that's how it kind of uh started from there on this on this on red 32 yeah so well you know what let's listen to it let's do it you guys let's ready let's let's do let's make this official uh you guys like tony says you know what to do crank it up and enjoy this is the beginning the first track from red 32 it's burned into the sun here in the house of Prague. right here. It would seem the world is taking its 
So fucking true. So fucking true. incredible what a way to start the album perfectly <laughs> that that song features everybody in one point or another what i really love about it is in the um in the solos rob and eric kind of trading off like they were in the same room together it was absolutely effing incredible i mean you could really think steve for uh really that mix i mean steve did such a wonderful job on the production side of this mm -hmm. yes, um, absolutely amazing job he did brilliant. always yeah. see steve's thumb by the way yeah he, he he's like doing this thing with his thumb <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and and really the the lyrics are just so um heavy because it really reflects what we're dealing with as a people right now, especially, you know, it's so true right here. The, the last two words, how, how can truth become our savior when there's no truth at all? Cause a world without mm -hmm. consensus is a world about to fall. It's like, you know, you just, <laughs> that's Steve, man. It's I deep, man. And it, yeah, it's Steve. <laughs> it's like, you could ask the question, like, what were you thinking? And it's like, we already know what you're thinking. You've got it out on paper. <laughs> you know, yeah, and he's yeah. so humble about it. You know, mm -hmm. when I ask him, you know, we talk on the phone all the time and I'm just like, I don't know how you do this, man. I have tried so many times to write lyrics and they come out just stupid. Oh, myself as well. That's why I, I, I'm, I'm horrible at it. <laughs> So I've, got, I've got George. I got George Santos on the speed dial. Oh, and he, he feeds me all the words. He's very helpful. <laughs> he's not the man you think he is. He's actually a genius. He's a yeah. savant. Oh dear! He steals <laughs> all his lyrics from there. That's where he gets. I oh, steal everything God. from the life of George Santos. <laughs> that poor guy. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Welcome in. It's thanks for joining. It's been a Phil. long time. Oh man! Hi, Phil. <laughs> so that was "Burn Into the Sun," ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the first track, so cut one, side one. If this were on vinyl, uh, so "Evil Never Sleeps." Next track. This one has a more lighter feel to feel to it. Um, still very um. Uh, Bear with me. This is my first interview, you guys. <laughs> oh, good, so man. I'm, I have a lot, man. Yeah. So let's talk about "Evil Never Sleeps." How did that song uh, come come around? Uh, what? Where did that one come from? We're gonna have to ask Steve on that one. Yeah. Well, it it, it really stemmed from a track you sent me, Tony. Right. Uh, that deedle 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 that you hear at the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. It just feels like evil. Yeah, that and line, you that... you brought the evil out in the George Santos and me. I think it was called <laughs> um, "Evil Celebrates Christmas" as well, or something like that. I yeah, think it was. I called... kind of dropped this Christmas thing because I wasn't feeling Christmas with that sound. <laughs> I think it was the devil. Even the devil celebrates Christmas. I think I okay. put <laughs> that 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 felt like that. Yeah, it felt like the devil. Sometimes I just I, you know the first thing that comes to my head when I write a groove you know when i write these little grooves sometimes it's just absolutely the first thing that comes to my head they're not 
very well thought out for the most part. And I think that was that one. Even the devil celebrate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> But the way Steve can just take whatever that little piece and make magic out of it is <clears throat> is absolutely incredible. Um, and we can talk more about some of the other things um, on the other songs a little later on, because it, this whole thing is I'm still, you know, it gets better every time I hear it. So yeah, we like it. We like it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Is is it is Nick going to put it up after the show or uh, do we know that yet? That I don't the, know. The download is actually available now. Um, you can download it, but the CD is not up yet. Okay. Well, there you go. We'll post the link to uh, red32.bandcamp.com in the chat so you guys can go and purchase it if you haven't already. Um, let's go let's into the – let's do the next track. Let's do it. I can't wait for everybody to hear this. Yes. <laughs> Track number cut two, side one, Evil Never Sleeps. Crank it up. Enjoy. We'll see you in a couple minutes here in the House of Prague. <laughs>
man, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> My mom sent me a, a message on Facebook because she's listening out in in her little space outside in, in the back. Sounds like it could be a sci-fi movie, and this is the opening track. We do like the sci-fi, huh, Steve? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> My life is a science. As a matter of fact, I have a science fiction movie on in the background right now. What I what is it? Science fiction and horror. That's my life. What what do you what what do you have on? Uh, it's a uh, it's a nonstop preview thing. It's just going on and on with previews of all kinds of movies. Oh, nice! All sci-fi. Very cool. Steve's into mm. horror movies. Like, well, I love horror movies. Love horror movies. I love I love more of the classic horror movies like The Shining and That's uh, good stuff. Carrie, the, yep. uh, Christine. And then my the exorcist and then of course i grew up in the 1980s so the entire <laughs> nightmare and elm street series for me was you know i was seven or eight years old when that started and it scared the hell out of me exorcist oh. scarred me for a long time <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now i can listen to mike oldfield's tubular bells and get the same effect because you you know that's the theme <laughs> that is it what a great theme mm -hmm. yeah, i I tell you what, man, that bass line is so cool. I think in the yeah. middle of there, man, that do, 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 do. Oh yeah. And, uh, brought it. awesome, awesome guitar solo too. Yes. Thank you, Eric. Steve, yeah. Steve made me tame down my uh, solo at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, no. I, I asked you to do, but what I needed to do was turn it up. That was all. I had a oh, no, better. no, no. I was like, you know, I think the original one that I did was like, was a lot uh uh what we you know speedy and so you asked me to sort of like so i sort of toned it down and made it more more melodic which yeah. it's, works it's a it's a strange balance you know between yeah. speed yeah. and melody i like a balance between the two yeah and you do that most of the time rob so don't worry about it you're yeah. doing great oh no no problem i try and and, and i can i can say too that you know <laughs> lyrically this just goes on the uh more human more level human. um of us, you know, just looking for the good in, in everything and how we can make our world better and, you know, saving ourselves from evil, as it says. Yeah. And, you know, that's what that's what we do. We're humans. That's what you're doing right now, Billy. You are saving us from evil. <laughs> <laughs> and promoting, helping promote a fantastic uh i can't say enough about this album how how great it is i mean i've had a couple of weeks to really uh submerse myself in it or immerse myself in it whichever word is good <laughs> I, I i choose different words kind of weirdly <laughs> uh but hey uh, it, uh wait real quick here a big shout out to mike cheryl who is on the album and you'll be hearing his song in a little bit and hello to cheryl griffith thanks for tuning in today we really yes hello cheryl and also, um, I got a message from Adam Sears from Lobate Scarp. He says he's listening. So, hi, Adam. Uh, hi, Adam. Joining it. Um, Be here, bro. So that was Evil Never Sleeps. And the next song up is uh, A Place to Call Home. Now, Our we've home. played this one before. We yes. played this a couple weeks ago. Oh, my God, Rob, really? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> thing, has, guys... thing has joined the chat. <laughs> Rob has a thing hand from Adam's family, and it's on one of his keyboards. Ah, <laughs> uh, now we know why Rob plays so well. He has a That's third right. hand. No, yes. it's the thing is really playing, not him. <laughs> or, or, or is it? Is that for when he needs a duet? Yes, exactly. <laughs> See, that, that explains it because sometimes it sounds like Rob is, has three hands. He does. He has three hands. That's what that explains it right there. Is Rob does have three hands. Mm -hmm. I gave away my big secret. Oh man! Uh, but we can work with that on the video. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Especially, you know, I was telling uh, Tony earlier that I was watching uh, one of your videos, Steve, that uh, Rick had posted from uh, Peace Rocks, your God, mm -hmm. Sex, Money video. Yes. I, I loved the Monty Python vibe on it. It, it seemed well, like that it could is have been all done. my friend. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, th that's the director and the creator of all those images was Linda K. Mm. She goes she business wise as LK. Yeah, and she's just she's just such a creative person. Right? She's a wonderful person, and I I so thank her for all the work she did on the videos that she's helped me with. It's just incredible. 
Well, I, I, I hope we can do some videos for for these too, if if we can. I, that would be amazing to just get it out there, because everybody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, we're by doing the way, it I, I didn't see many comments in the chat room about Evil Never Sleeps. Uh, no, you I, I, well, you like I, I see or... that that DJ Tony guy says love that tempo change. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions for the band, feel free. You know. Like, I'm Put critiquing myself as we go. I'm critiquing us as we go. So I, I think as artists, we all do that, don't we? Yeah. We're, we're our own worst critics. I'm oh, the geez. Help. There goes Rob again. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on his head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We're going into left field here. <laughs> so we're on to our third song now. Let's see. This is a song called A Place to Call Home. And... Right. So it's really it. yeah let's do it let's do a place to call home uh, and we'll talk about it afterwards so crank it up enjoy and we'll see you at the end of the track love the horns
man. Place to call home. Another great song. What I love about this, too, is each song is almost, you know, they all follow the same sort of theme, um, but they're all different styles. There yeah, isn't a, a single. A lot of yeah. different stuff on this album. So, yeah. Definitely. Uh, real quick here. Hello to Stuffer White. Thanks for tuning in. Hello to Richard Rowe. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, it's hard to get to everybody because we're, I'm getting messages offline, too, um, of people listening. So thank you to everybody who's uh, who's reached out. And, uh, oh, we had an, we got a question from Colleen. Did anyone else write lyrics? I only heard you mention Steve. So. Steve. Just, just George Santos and I. Oh, <laughs> George Anthony DeValder Santos. Yes. <laughs> Who are you really? <laughs> we are. We are George Santos. Oh, I don't Lord. know if, that, that, I, 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 if uh, the song tribute, if that counts as lyrics, that's not really lyrics. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Just that tribute. The final song on the album is all our fearless leader, Tony Anthony Romero. That's yeah. right. I guess I don't know if I would even call that lyrics, though. We'll see. You guys will hear it at the end. You guys will hear the last song. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it's the perfect um, topper to the album, I would say, too. But yeah, Place to Call Home, another great, great, real poppy, uh, poppy sound, like late 80s, um, maybe loosely Tears for Fears-ish to me. Um, cool. I really loved the vibe on it. And of course, you know, we go always land back on the lyrics. I mean, the way, you know, you talk about how our, you guys talk about how our planet is so fragile and we know it's fragile and, you know, soon we're going to have to find another place. So, you know, Starfleet, if you're listening, enough, I hope we live long enough to need to do that. Yeah, that we oh, can, the, that we're able to do that. Yeah. You know, here, here's the thing, you know, with Steve and I've been saying this for a long time. This is why I really, truly believe his lyrics, they always make sense, and they always are real lyrics. They're not just words on a page that go with the melody. The All the lyrics on all his albums, they always mean something, and they always pertain directly to that song. And he puts himself into nope. it. Yeah. No it, 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 there's, there's no There's no um, – it, they're, they're genuine. They're from the heart. I and attribute make... a lot of that to the fact that I was once an actor. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's right. I, I so was re I was written up the, on you. <laughs> yeah, part of the education of being an actor is to put yourself into the character <clears throat> of whoever it is you're acting. So hey, I hey. put myself into the character or the storyline of anything I write, and try to put myself in the emotional state that they're in. And if there's any depth to my lyrics, it's because I succeed in feeling somewhat what they are feeling. I, I assume they would be feeling. Yeah. yeah. I try to get that. Yeah. You because know. I, I, there was a moment and I, I, uh, this is my moment of vulnerability. There was a point where during the spoken word part, um, when Tony was saying, you know, this is where <laughs> we live. This is our home. You know, that brought tears to my eyes and it, it's not the first time it, it was not the only time that it has actually done. This album has done that to me. And that's how I know I'm listening to something that is really good because it, 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 it emits that sort of emotional, um, an emotional response. Yes. And Absolutely. I can feel it. And, you know, from that, I, I just want to say to you guys, thank you. Oh, um, thank you. I, I had a guy at work, listen to it. Uh huh. And he said to me, he said, I love the song, but it made me sad when he heard, I had him listen to, I told him the new singles out, Burn Into the Sun. Uh huh. He came back to me and he goes, wow. He goes, man, that is a really good song. He goes, but it made me sad. And mm -hmm. I go, wait a minute. Why did it make you sad? There's no, it's not really a song written in minors or, you know, the, he goes, the lyrics really hit home with me. And I was like, oh my God. So I called Steve right after work, man. I'm like, Steve, mm -hmm. listen to what my friend at work said and me and steve were just like that is what we want 
Yes, I yeah. let George Santos know about that too. He was very, <laughs> very pleased that his contribution made such emotional impact. I mean, I don't, I don't want to take away from the lyrics, but I thought the song was about my Steve Morse, uh, I mean, excuse me, my Steve Vai Bad Horsey uh, Morley Wah Wah pedal that I used on the keyboard. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, every, that, every little bit of it was just you know beautiful was from that start to finish. Used by you, Rob, or was that your fake hand? <laughs> That we're no, finding that out was... is the real secret to your success. Thanks. Hold it down, hold it down. Don't let that get out too too much yet. Yeah, we um, don't want we, we don't want to take, give away all his secrets. Come on. Well, we're already <laughs> getting onto it now. Yeah, the, the hand is you out know, of the bag. Uh, but I think this is a very lyrically strong album. I think the lyrics are so strong, and you know, all of Steve's albums, the lyrics are always up at the forefront for me. But as far as this goes, for me, I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the stronger points on the album is the lyrics themselves. Man, they're all cool. God dang it, Rob! <laughs> <laughs> now Rob's pushing his Morley pedal with the thing hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, and yeah, yeah that's great. This is great. So, yeah, if if you're just joining us, we're here with uh, Tony Romero, Steve Benino, and Rob Schindler of the band Red 32. This is the official CD release party of their debut album, Red 32, released on Melodic Revolution Records. And you can get yours now digitally at red32.bandcamp.com. This has been really fun, guys. We're going on to our fourth song now. And this is one that really... Um, I, I felt like a sort of, it feels like a fleet. I got a Fleetwood Mac vibe to this one. And it's a really beautiful song. My, my wife Shiloh said when she heard it, that she would, uh, she thought she could hear um, kids singing in the chorus. No, that's me. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> but um it, it it really does and it's a, it's a it's a pretty song um and it's it's about all of us cuz we are all light bearing creatures we all emit our own light to each other so um let's listen to the song all right let's Shall do we? this crank oh, yeah. this one up in and in.
who lights the way? Our little light bearing creatures, our kids. So if you're a dad, you know, tomorrow's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everybody. All you yes, do. Happy, happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy yes. Father's everybody. Yeah. I think we all have our own kids. I mean, yeah, I've got my little nine year old. I've got a 20 year old too. Oh, well, he'll be 20 in September. <laughs> and another one that'll be 20 in October. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, Lots of love. Yeah. You know what I got to say about that one, Billy? Hmm. Don't always believe what you think you hear. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Yeah. But yes, this is uh this was a beautiful poppy song. And you know, that the whole the drum vibe to me really sounded like it could be the real tightness of it reminded me of something like something that would Mick Fleetwood would play and yes. the the little uh finger picking part that goes along with it it's had that whole yeah. Fleetwood Buckingham vibe to it which you know was is really good it really brought that song out you know well, that's a, that's I have a, to take my hat off to Mr. Tony Romero that's his drum part that is amazing <laughs> that's not a guitar that's my keyboard I know, but it sounds like, you know, a finger picked <laughs> guitar. That came out neat. I like that one, man. It I, really yeah. did. I, I really was shocked when Steve took that one and kind of did his Benino Benino eyes on it and you know, <laughs> such it a very awesome. it's it's a happy song. Yeah. It, re it really is. And and I, I can't pick out a favorite of this because these are all my favorite songs right now. So <laughs> it's it, it's really good. Um we're we are four tracks in. We're on to the fifth now. Yeah, let me introduce Flo if you don't yes, mind. Yes, go for it. There's a reason I want to introduce Flo. It's because this is directly related to the first TRV single from the next album, which is called Flow true mental the right. one that rob and i did and we donated all the funds to the bob moog foundation thanks to rob for getting michelle moog on the line and uh, agreeing to let us donate this song that this is, amazing, is the amazing. vocal version of it so you're gonna hear what sounds like which really pretty much is the start to flow through mental but it goes into something completely different and this is without a doubt my favorite Steve Benino harmonies are just absolutely incredible. And yep. that's all I want to say about that. I want to let you guys know, though, that this is like part two of Flow Strumental, but the vocal version of it. Oh, yeah. yeah you guys are going to love it. I remember hearing you play the instrumental version, oh, I think about a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, before, the song was even, before the song was finished, you played it on your show. <laughs> And I, I knew then that it was going to be something that, you know, you guys put a lot of love into and it's time to play it. So, and it's the longest track on the album. It's six, just over six minutes too. You guys are going to love this. Crank up flow and enjoy. And we'll, we'll talk about it more in the end. Flow. 
<laughs> oh man that song could go on for another six hell 10 minutes you could extend that for a long that's a that's just a jam it's a wonderful um, song. yeah I, it's i mean those harmonies i i yeah. can't listen to those enough i i mean it is just oh steve i don't know how you do it brother i really it don't. is 
it, it is very i know it's very diff it should be very difficult to be able to harmonize with yourself but damn it steve you make it so flipping easy you well, make it sound so easy the bottom line is when you harmonize with george santos <laughs> it's a thing of beauty it's such oh, a beautiful moment uh, in anyone's life i can't uh, i can't recommend you know, it enough I, I sure hope he doesn't hear this and then we have to pay him for saying his name. <laughs> I know. Uh, seriously, man. He's got a legal a defense lawsuit. fund that he needs to fund up. I know. <laughs> Smell a lawsuit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's the halfway point yep. to Red 32's debut album. Oh, man. That, that I thought that just really hits me, man. At that I moment, thought... I feel like the needle is just kind of going off into the dead wax and stopping at the end of the record, and it's time to flip it over. Yeah. But let's talk about flow. Yeah, Rob. I, th I thought that Thing did a really good job blending in with Tony's work on that. Wow. Yeah. And to think, I mean, is are there any plans to maybe ex do an extended mix? <laughs> I think that was the extended mix. <laughs> okay, well, uh, make, make it an, let's make it an epic. <laughs> I mean, you know, Flo Strumental is eight minutes long, and that's mm -hmm. like kind of the continuation. And we kind of did it on purpose. <laughs> I had this idea to start with the beginning of Flo Strumental and then put Steve's, what he did there in the middle with all the vocals and stuff. And then end with the end, the exact mm -hmm. end and start of Flow Strumental. Ooh. Those parts are the exact pieces. They bookend flow. So, Ooh. and uh, so, yeah, I think that is the extended version of it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So what I love still... about flow is that Tony and Rob had this beautiful uh, track that had the flute and everything else as a main instrument. And then after the fact, because of the Moog influence, Rob went back and added his Moog part to it. Right. And it yeah. not only didn't take away, it added, which just shows that, you know, there's just so much sparse beauty in the original track that there was room to add even more and still make it feel sparse and beautiful. Yes. I mean, it's spacey. It's as Mama Shar said in the chat room, this is love making music. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's what we want right there. We want uh -oh. more Father's uh -oh. Days around it, here. The baby making music. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello to Mark Johnson. Mark, thanks for tuning in, brother. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so it, it is my understanding that the very first band in space was recorded on the Enterprise, right? <laughs> <laughs> In ten yeah, forward, in ten forward, with Guinan as the bartender. Yeah, George Santos was the captain. So. Oh, yes, of course, Captain Santos. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm songwriting credit now. That means uh, shit. He's like uh, twenty percent of the band now. Oh no! <laughs> I hope he's not expecting royalties. <laughs> I don't remember the van. I, I don't remember the vote where we voted him into the band. I don't remember that. <laughs> George George doesn't need an introduction. He just finds his way into everything, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but now, now we we would begin side two of the album. That's that, that's what I call it. Since I'm that vinyl freak, <laughs> yeah. and we go into. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting song because of the I, I love the effects that are, are are used a lot. I love the reversing, and you guys will hear it. Um, but the I love the guitars on this. I, I, I the song is really cool, kind of light light hearted and 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 happy. Um, you guys are gonna love it. It's called the very first band in space. Let's play it, shall we? Crank it up, right, please. Goes. All right, let's do it. Let's go. 
beautiful so beautiful i love that change right there in the middle all while keeping the same the same groove going when steve comes in with that bass line <laughs> i yeah, love that change cool. it's another real spacey and it's real happy i i i love the positiveness of of this 
I, I think it's a gorgeous song. It's almost to yep. me that one is almost like folk prog rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, folk, yeah, like proggy folk. And man, I, I really love that song. That one's been earworming me all yeah. for like two or three days now. <laughs> oh <Same> yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, Those totally. Are, the vocals on that track are just amazing too, Steve. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know. It was going to be a heavy metal track, but George told me to <laughs> try and sparse it out a little bit. And he was right. He was I'm right. Yeah. George Santos, man. Yeah, you, uh, you know, even a blind squirrel can find a nut once in a while, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a wow. fun one, though. I like that one, man. I like it. It's a, just got such a happy, smooth, soft vibe. And it's just a beautiful track. I, I really, really like that one a lot. And and once again, the, the sci-fi vibe. You know, being that first band to play on a starship would be, you know, or even just to play in space. Yeah, I'd love to it, do that. It's not what that like big about- of a deal. I'll tell you, it's, you know, it's OK, but it gets old. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like the I line. Mean, Every song we play is like the first time only better. That would be what yes. it would be like, even though you've played a song a thousand times. <laughs> mm-hmm. You've never played it before in outer space. No. <laughs> No, and, and delivery... I, I don't think I would. I, I could imagine what strings, what guitar strings would do in space. Would they react the same way in a zero gravity environment? Well, it's just, it, I'm curious. I'm Let's assuming see. the ballroom in outer space has gravity. Ah. <laughs> wouldn't the band wouldn't be floating and playing with their amplifiers hitting them in the head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Can we go back to space again? We go back to space. <laughs> mm-hmm. Someday we'll all go to space. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, that time's I, coming. <laughs> you know, I agree with Steve, though. That line is so, it's such a great line. And the delivery of the line, the melody that was created on that line, I think, is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And you could, you, it's something that we could do a, a, it sounds like it could be unplugged even because it's, it's like that nice, folky, um, sitting around the campfire kind of some of the subtleties about it i think is the delivery i mean again that delivery of that line that particular line is it's like in one tempo and then that last line comes in kind of double tempo when he sings mm-hmm. it only better says it faster than the rest of the line which i thought was super creative oh yeah yeah i don't even yeah. know steve were you even consciously doing that or was that something that just kind of came out no, I was asleep while I was recording it, and uh, <laughs> I, I sometimes do my best work unconscious. Actually, I just found that to be the case. You, don't, you guys know Steve doesn't drink; he doesn't smoke. I mean, I don't uh, need to. With a brain like mine, it would be bad. I guess I understand. I'm the same way. Yeah, I imagine Steve being baked at Friday's Blair. Well, who knows? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine me any goofier than I am? <laughs> well, uh, you're the only three man, three handed person I know. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's um, a, a great great start to what I call side two. <laughs> I, I I know it. I wish it would be put out on vinyl, but I know how expensive it is to to get a run going. <laughs> You guys, um, if we get the demand hey, for it, we'll do it. Hey, if yeah. if enough people want it, we'll right. do it. Well, we'll do yeah. it. Let, let's let's maybe uh, let's let's put out a Kickstarter or something and see if we can try it. Right. Um, we'll talk about this, um, you know, offline as the cool kids say. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do this on vinyl. Oh, uh, me too. That would be so cool to listen to it on the big system. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have a CD player in my in my my stereo system in the living room i don't have a cd player i have a ps5 though i could always listen on the ps right i I don't even think i I don't even have a cd player in here (laughs) that's still in my storage unit that i got to clean out (laughs) nice yeah because it's expensive you know storage is storage has gotten expensive (laughs) we know we got yeah um so yeah let's let's do the next one this one's kind of special i mean I, I I'm here too. Um, this one actually features me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right, Billy. Oh, Billy. Yeah, I, oh, I, Billy. I don't. Yeah. I'm not here to promote me though. <laughs> I mean, sort of am, but I'm not. 
this is about red 32 but i, I got to be on this track <laughs> yeah i love what you did on this man it's super cool billy and we really appreciate you throwing in some of your uh your talents on this song i I, I was honored to be included um and the magic that was done is it get i i love it <laughs> so without further ado this is mean crank it up enjoy <laughs> It's so oh, cool. man, such a, a <laughs> turn, such a turn from the previous song. Yes. Uh, I got a story about that one. Okay, let's that hear it. One before, first off, thank you, Billy. That bass solo was so yep. cool. Oh, thank you, Billy. Beautifully yeah. in there. I, I am honored. <laughs> it was perfect, man. It, 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 I love doing it, and I've got more things in line, too that we can nope. talk about later <laughs> all right but that song almost didn't before you did your bass part uh -huh. when 
he originally sent that one over, he had just sent it to me and he said, what do you think? He goes, I don't think I like it. Uh -huh. uh, Steve, you remember when you first sent that over, Steve? Yes, I wasn't a well man at that time. And yeah, and it was like I listened to it. I went, "Wow, that's I I love it. I think it's super cool." And yeah, but Steve said he didn't really. He wasn't really. Well, like, I wasn't also wasn't sure stylistically if it could fit on this album. And uh, Nick said, "Let's wait and see how the whole album comes out and see if it fits." I personally am a big fan of of not having the same sound all the way through a whole album. Personally, me too. yeah. Yeah, and and it really shows on this one because no this no two songs are alike on this album. Each yeah. one is completely unique in its own part. Right. And is there it, an opposite, it shows. Is there an opposite of a concept album? <laughs> per, maybe. Yes. Red 32. The, the anti concept <laughs> album. That's right. The anti yeah. <laughs> the anti-concept album i like that right. yep. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah so that one that one almost didn't make the album and i'm really glad it did and you know i love it i love that track <laughs> it's great. yeah yeah it's it's there i just i'm still blown and away by it all the so, sheer anger of it really excites me it really does yeah yeah it's and I mean, and Colleen is saying in the chat room, please tell me that song isn't by autobiographical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great uh, job, Steve. And yeah, let's. Oh man, let let's go to the next one because if if, if it's all if you guys are gonna love this one too, this one features another one of our brothers, Mr. Mike Sherrill on drums. Yes, that's right. And um. He this, he has a show here too. Well, his show. I think he's going to be on P Ridge Nation on Twitch this afternoon at seven p.m. Eastern, and right. he replays on Thursdays before I'm on the air for my show. Yeah, yep. um, syndicated here at House of Prague. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the tr the name of this song is Slow Burn, and this <laughs> I got to say, um, if I had to rank them, this is probably my favorite song on the track on the album. Yeah. Yeah, this um, is another one though that that is goes way back. This is one I wrote way, way back in the beginning. Uh, I don't even think I had. In fact, I think the name of the band before <laughs> TRV, Nick had came up with a, a name. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, something principle. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. Vortex principle is what ah. Nick had said. Hey, what do you think of that name? And then later I changed it. But this goes back that far, wow. and it's went back and forth with me and EC for a while, and then, uh, you know, with Steve, and then it ended up becoming this, and it did make the album, which I'm really glad, because I think it's a really cool tune. And the the most, um, in, in a prog sense, this is this has all of the prog elements that I love, odd time signatures, um, uh, sudden changes um it, it's got it's got everything for me so in, in me it's a perfect song um and well, thank you uh, Billy. thank you yeah so let's play it for everybody else crank it up enjoy slow burn featuring mike sherrill on drums here in the house of prog <laughs> In this cold, cold, cold 
can i say about that man that that song has such a um in the beginning has like this real queensrike vibe to it and steve's vocals with it almost <laughs> reminds me of like jeff tate it, it, he can get up so high in the register and still <clears throat> make it sound so melodically beautiful yeah and, and pleasant to listen to I just I can't say enough about the vocals on that one, yep. and, and the bridge where <laughs> he gets this it, he brings back that element of what he did for Eva Prima Pandora, and used that style of vocal in that section that was absolutely <laughs> heavenly. It was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys. Cheryl Griffith sends her uh, regards to everyone and is enjoying the album. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, and yeah. we had a full chat room. Is it <laughs> yes. still up, up, people? I see names starting to disappear, but we've only got a couple songs left. <laughs> we're, we're winding down. It's uh, the downhill side. We've got two tracks left, Space Rider and Tribute. Um, yeah. How do you want to how do you, how do we want to do this? Do we want to play both of them and talk about it or no. want to do one at a time? Do one at a time. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's another yeah. odd one here. Uh, another odd. This one's an odd one. Well, let's. <laughs> I uh, so. <laughs> uh, oh I don't wow! So. This is this has been fun, guys. I wanna I wanna thank you guys for uh, asking me to to host this. This has been an honor. It's been exciting. Um, the album is everything I had hoped for and more. And uh, I it, this has just been a real treat for me. So thank you guys for uh, having me here. You're a wonderful host, Billy. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for doing it. Yes, man. thank you. So, yeah, let's go to so Space Rider. Weird. Yeah, this one's weird because <laughs> this is another one I wrote a long time ago, and this was basically an experiment in percussion. Mm -hmm. Is how this started, and then it's got a weird kind of moogy, uh, kind of a moog synth line to it. That, and then you know, yeah, the rest of the band did their thing. So. It, it it's it, it's the nice it's a it's a really nice even even though there's a few words in it it's mostly instrumental but it still features everybody so let's let's play this one enjoy space rider here in the house of Prague. <laughs>
Yeah, so this song actually uh, reminds me that I I just got a, a new iPhone. So it has GarageBand on it, and I've been playing with the Beat Sequencer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that just makes it, it inspired me because I had just gotten the, the new phone. And hearing that, it, it makes me want to play with my iPhone even more. <laughs> Did you know that Bonzo Fimbres does almost all his stuff on GarageBand? I remember hearing that, yes. And I, I don't know if I could, I mean, I could probably do it all right here on my phone, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I'm going to try to find ways to integrate it into my other software, that's for sure. Um, because it it's a game changer for me <laughs> um, uh, creatively. I, I've gotten the bug, especially since I did this too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh wow but yes space rider the second to last track on like Red 32. it was fun yeah. it that was, was really fun. fun yeah it was really fun i i love the groove and that's another one you know <laughs> i i could you know put on repeat and just extend it because it's just got that nice feel good rob really transformed that one and gave mm -hmm. it such a way different feel than it originally had and then with steve's vocals layered on top of that with a nice subtle not not i mean it, it just i thought that one really worked in the end the syncopation the syncopated rhythms going back and forth i i love how it it just they it blends so well i tried to do the uh mellotron type uh in the wake of poseidon king crimson type Ooh. of feel from the early days of kc <laughs> mm, that 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 explains it yeah i'm gonna ha i have to go back and re-listen to that it, it, it's I, almost, I only have that one on eight track <laughs> you, you know it's almost uh like polyrhythms almost because between the percussion is doing one thing and then what rob is doing Mm -hmm. Is it really, uh, I don't think it's even the same time signature. If there is even, is it? I don't, wouldn't even know what the time signature is. Yeah. But uh, I think it's like polyrhythmic, that song. I do. Yeah, it's so. it's just amazing. Oh, wow. That we've, we've, we've gotten to the last song, guys. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I have to introduce this one too, Billy. Absolutely. I was yeah. going to leave that one up to you. So the floor is yours. Uh, this is a tough one for me, yeah. you guys. I really wrestled back and forth, and Steve really encouraged this one to to make it on the to the album. And this is this is the story behind Red Thirty Two. This is why we named the band Red Thirty Two. This is why I had the idea of naming <laughs> TRV's next album Red Thirty Two. Um, and this one's it, it. This one's hard. I mean, it's. I was really going back and forth on whether I wanted to put this on the album or not. And I ran it by my wife, you know, and made sure she was okay with it. And um, she was okay with it. And Steve really encouraged it. He's like, no, you got to do this. And so you guys will understand after you hear it. You'll understand yeah. why. And, I, and I'm, I'm glad you did. One. I'm so, glad you did. I appreciate that. So, yeah. so I'm ready, I guess. All right. <laughs> um, well, let's play the track, uh, tribute here in the house of Prague. So red 32 is a reference to my fallen brother-in-law who we lost two years ago to a heart attack. And his favorite number was Red 32. Whenever we'd go to uh, Las Vegas or something, he would tell us to put 20 down on Red 32. And, uh, you know, Troy was such a good guy, man. He wasn't like a brother-in-law. He was like a real brother to me. And there was nothing he wouldn't do for you. He was one of the good people in the world. And uh, over the years, we just got tighter and tighter. I mean, you got to the point where we just uh, brotherly love, like unconditional brotherly love. And, uh, you know, he's sorely missed by so many people. He was so loved by everybody. Never an angry day in his life. He was always happy and go lucky and thankful for what he had. And 
You know what? I'm thankful for the uh, all the years I got to spend with Troy. And so we're going to carry on their tradition uh, by calling the band Red 32 and the album Red 32 as a tribute to Troy. So I uh, love you, brother. I know you're up I know you're listening. Just know that uh, we all love you, miss you, and we'll uh, be together soon again. That's right. I really have no words at this moment. Um, all I know is, Tony, you're not alone. I had tears streaming down my face too, brother. Yeah, it's, man, I, you know, like I said, I mean, it's rough for me, and I really love my wife. Shelly is so wonderful, and she also said, go put it on there. And uh, I just, you know, it's, it's really tough because, like, Troy was like a brother to me. I mean, I called him my brother. I mean, you know, I mean, he, we were – he was my brother. I mean, just straight up, not a brother-in-law. So yeah. really rough, man. And so, but, you know, big shout out to my beautiful wife, Shelly, yes. for uh, encouraging that. And also Steve for encouraging me to, to go ahead and put that on the album. So uh, anyway, I think it's definitely important that it was on there as well. And uh, I, that's why we named it red 32 go red 32. Yep. So I encourage everybody yeah. out there when you go to yep. the casino, when you go to Vegas, you put 20 down on red 32 <laughs> every time, and hey. it pays $700 if you hit it. And let me tell you guys a story about red 32 real quick. Here. <laughs> go for it. So back in last July, me and Shelly, we, every time we go to the casino, we throw it down. We never hit, never hit it this one time. Okay. Shelly put a 20 in and I said, you know what? I'm going to put a 20 in as well. And I swear to God, you guys, that thing landed on like black 17 and it literally jumped out and landed in red 32. And oh. it was a delay. There was a delay there. And my wife will attest to this. There was a delay there where that ball jumped out and jumped into red 32. So what me and Shelly had was we had this pact that we didn't tell anybody about. If we ever hit it, we're going to give the money to Troy's kids. So when we hit it, the whole way mm -hmm. home, me and Shelly are just looking at each other. We're just like, did that really happen? We couldn't <laughs> believe it happened. And I'm not kidding. We were almost silent all the way home. And then so we make a phone call over to the kids and we said, hey, uh, Step, wake the kids up. We're going to stop by. And Steph didn't even know, his wife. Mm -hmm. She didn't even know about this. And so we stopped stopped there on the way home and woke the kids <laughs> up. They're all groggy. They're like, oh, what do you guys want? It's Sunday. <laughs> you guys want? And so we told them the story. We said, hey, look, you know, this is something your dad mm -hmm. always asked us to do. And so we finally hit it. And we each had $720 in our hand because we both bet 20 and I handed mine to Jake. Shelly handed hers to Gracie. And they were just like, this, this look on their face was just like, uh, we said, that's from your dad. <laughs> uh -huh. Your dad reached in, grabbed the ball, and he put it in 32. Swear to God. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, my, my wife and I are going on a cruise in July. We've already talked about it. You know, we're not gamblers, but we're going we're gonna to go put, play Red 32. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yes. <laughs> Everybody. Yes. Anybody who goes to the casinos, you guys, 20 on red 32. Let me know what happens. Uh, I don't gamble, but I think I'll do that. Yeah, even just throw a 10 down, whatever. Yeah. Man. It doesn't have to be 20. <laughs> oh, oh man. It's, this has been an incredible experience. Um, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Eric. Uh, thank you to the chat room. Thank you to everybody who's listening. Mm -hmm. Um, this has just been uh, an incredible, uh, an incredible day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the album. Go out and get it, um, and play the hell out of it, and tell everybody you know. Um, yeah. In fact, when you get your CDs, you guys hold them up, take a picture, and put them on the Facebook. 
Let That's us right. know that you're enjoying the copy you got of it. And it it's a nice album. It's, uh, you know, it comes on a digipack light. So it's got a nice cover and it comes uh, with a beautiful, the CD itself looks really cool. It's, it's a different red 32 logo. Um, actually Nick Katona uh, designed that, that particular um, logo and uh, it looks great on the CD and it sounds wonderful. Rob, have you, uh, what does it sound like on the big system, Rob? Have you got yours yet? No, no, I haven't. Uh, they're supposed to show up Monday. So I'll right. definitely let you know, but uh, you need to let Nick know he needs to get the CD posted because it's just the download right now. Okay. Well, I hope Nick's listening. I didn't see him in the chat room. No, I haven't seen Nick at all either. I was wondering where he was. He's getting his car <laughs> fixed or something. I think. Uh, you know, I want to I thank everybody, though. I want to thank everybody um, who tuned in today and encouraged and support <laughs> Red 32. And I want to thank mostly Steve, Rob, and Eric. And, uh, of course, our guest, Billy Allen, who's on there, and Mike Sherrill. Thanks for contributing to the album, man. I, you guys don't know how much that meant to me. And what meant the most to me was Steve encouraging us to change the name to Red 32. That meant a ton to me. So thank you, Steve, for that. Yeah. My yeah. pleasure, my friend. It deserved to be something special. And it and it certainly is. Uh uh, the album comes out today, Dougie. Yep. Uh, you'll be able to purchase yep. CD and digital. Yep. I, I just posted the link again in the chat room. So, okay. yeah. Oh, you did so a good job, go? Billy. Thank you. Where yeah. are we going? Yeah, thank you, Billy. Thank you, everybody. Uh, it's, it's such an honor to be part of this. It's just beyond words. Yeah, that's that's me too. I've I've been really excited about this, and now it's – it's done and it's <laughs> the cat's out of the bag now, man. <laughs> I'm glad everybody got a chance to hear it. I was dying for everybody to hear some of these songs. It was all I could do not to play them on the show because <laughs> I was so happy with the, the, the way the whole album turned out. Oh, definitely. Having to show restraint and not go, oh, here's another <laughs> one off of the album. It, it, oh, no, it was real. It was real. And I'm really bad at that too. You guys know, you've heard some of my <laughs> Uh, right i'm terrible at that man i'm like oh my god i like this so much i want everybody to hear it oh i'll just play it once yeah you know? but no we held strong you guys we uh only burn into the sun and a place to call home only got played once and that's it none of the rest oh, wait you wait hold on i thought when uh mike was on tpm a couple weeks ago you did play slow burn oh we did that's right yeah oh yeah we, mike was there <laughs> oh i'm ashamed of myself uh, why not? And you shouldn't be. That was just, you know, a sneak peek. Mike's the best, man. I dig Mike. He does such a great show, you guys. Twitch, 7 p.m. tonight. P Ridge Nation, man. You guys got to check out his show if you haven't heard it. You guys got to check his show out. He does. He's probably one of my favorite DJs in the world, man. He does a great job. <laughs> he has a great show. It's a very eclectic show, too. Um, oh, by the way, all your DJs out there, you guys can play whatever you want now off of the album. <laughs> Oh, yes. and it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should play the whole thing myself. I, I, I don't, probably, I don't I, think I, there's anything else out there to really play. So. No. <laughs> I, it's the only thing on my desktop. Uh, there's no more music. I've raced all my other music. <laughs> is all gone. So from now on, every show is just going to be Red 32. <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> on repeat. <laughs> Sorry, Rob, I deleted all your music, Rob. Please, Sorry. please stay tuned for our second album, Red 32, The Revenge of George Santos. Oh, God. <laughs> what Red 32, 2, T-O-O. -O. Ooh. Red 32, oh. 2. <laughs> and, and, and that, that oh. will be after the world tour, right? <laughs> what I stumbled on yesterday on the Spotify. I is, the cover gonna be, is the cover going to be you in a, in a tutu? No, a bikini. Okay. I just yeah. had an up and smoke flashback. Oh my god! Yeah, I just threw up a little <laughs> in my mouth. So sorry, guys. Um, no. What I stumbled across yesterday was a band called Red Three Twenty Six. Yeah, I I've think seen that. I saw that too because I've been, you know, seeing if they put uh, if Nick had put the single up yet, <laughs> but he hadn't. I sent I sent him a cease and desist. Ah, uh, that would explain that. It was not my kind of music. I didn't enjoy it. I actually did listen to a couple songs I, I did not enjoy. Wow. Red 32, not 326. So. Right, yeah. Red 32 is much better. 
Wow. Uh, any, uh, you know, we're going to probably just hang it up here in a minute. So, um, all right. You know, everybody, red32.bandcamp.com. Feel free to go ahead and get your copy. Um, I, 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 at this point, I don't know uh, if it's for sale, the album yet, but it will be. And let me look. Let me see what it says right now. Steve, yeah, what are your closing thoughts, Steve? Yeah. My closing thoughts are it's been a, it's been a pleasure, and I'm looking forward to Red 32 too. Red 32 too. I don't see it. I just see this. Yeah, it's um, only showing the by digital album. Yeah, digital on there. No CD yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys keep it. Keep it. Keep your eye on it. Um, it will be. I, I'm pretty sure it will be sometime today. Um, that you'll be able to purchase your copy of the album. You're gonna dig it. It's it's a nice a nice CD. It sounds great in on a good system. It sounds wonderful. Uh, it sounds great in my car. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've played it in our work truck too, and that's got a nice a stereo system. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, everybody, you know, thank you for filling up the chat room today. Yeah, that was incredible. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. It was really nice. <laughs> that was great. Yes, thank you all for your support. Yes, thank you everybody. Yes. And it really meant a lot to us, you guys. Yeah, it 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 meant a lot to be able to do it too. That'd be great, Billy. Thank you, man. Thanks for taking yeah, the Yeah, Billy, time. you rock, man. Thank you. Yeah, guys. baby. Um, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have any other things to say except um, maybe a little bit of self promotion, if I will. You can catch my show, The Analog Cafe, every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Pacific or 10 p.m. Eastern here on the House of Prague. And I think I might be doing some more today. Yeah, I was going to say, aren't you coming back to the one one o'clock slot? Yeah, I think I'm going to. I got to get some uh, some food started in the slow cooker before I do, though. So it might yeah. be just a little after one. I might be a little late. All right. Well, get on there today, you guys, and listen to Billy. Um, I got the MP3 speaker going in the back, so we'll definitely be tuned in, Billy, for you. Um, let me say a few closing words before we go. Sure. And before I let you all go, um, Rob, any closing words from you? No, I've already, already said mind how honored I am to be part of this project and uh, and just how blown away I am by how everything came out and being able to work with all of you is just just such a pleasure and honor and uh, yeah I can't I, um, you know obviously I've gotten to meet you know Steve but one day we got to all get together <laughs> yeah yes definitely for sure that's on my bucket list man I have got to meet Roby one himself man my hero. Hey, yeah. everybody come to Prog Stock. My hero oh, I wish. My zero is what I say. I'm the Prog Stock. I'll be there. <laughs> Jamming with Patrick Morris. Oh, nice. 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 You know how long it'll take me to hitchhike there, Rob? About as long as it takes me. It's a long walk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, and plus, too, I have a short thumb. See? <laughs> you see that? I have a short thumb, so nobody oh. sees it. I think I'm just homeless. That's what they think. <laughs> I'm not Good kidding. Lord. Anyway, uh, you guys, uh, thank you so much for today, man. Thank you to Red32. Big extra thanks to EC. I wish he could have been here today. I understand the bandwidth issue. I totally get it. But thanks for being here in the chat room. Thanks for all your contribution, oh, uh, contributions to Red32. And Rob, all your contributions. And Steve, you know, obviously we couldn't have done it without <laughs> even your production skills and lyrics and man i tell you what the stuff you do always amazes me every day steve well you're very kind my friend you you inspire me every time you send me a a, a link we got more to work on we're ready for what we do. some of them I'm are gonna the be PRB, but you know we do got some red 32 stuff cooking so, so yeah anyway uh, i'm gonna let everybody go and okay. sign up here, Billy, thank you again so much. It was my pleasure. Thank uh, you. Taking care of today. And Rob, thanks for being here. And Steve, for being here. love you guys. Love, love you, everybody. All right. Peace. All right. Peace.